blind script. And there are different components to what I call blind script. I don't know what other people have called this. And it's something that I just made up that I found that works for me. So let's go over some details of the, of the blind script, kind of like a recipe to be successful with it. Okay, so you have your pieces. You got your intro, you got a credibility statement, and you have the because or why, and then uh, fourth, I call it kind of like the sign off, and then fifth, of course, is just any last minute details. Okay, there's a title here, very important. It's a title. Uh, because dialing means you're calling hundreds, possibly thousands of people, you can't say everybody's name individually. That would be great if you could. Hey, Dr. Myers, this is James. Well, there is a software coming. I'm developing it that's going to enable me or anyone to dial a stock list, an inventory of, of, of surnames. But the point is, when you use a title, it's, it increases your the value of the phone call. All right, so Doc, sorry I missed you. Next is the credibility statement or the, the coattail. This is where uh, you're writing uh, another person's coattail to get uh, to increase your your credibility. Here's an example. Let me get out of the uh, screen here. Consider doing some kind of a joint venture deal, if you will. With a different, with another doctor. This will give you the ability to use someone's name legally, legitimately, ethically. Because what you want to do is you want to enter into a marketing partnership with someone that will give you the ability to use their name. Suffice it to say that that technique alone into this mix uh, is it's. It, it increases the callbacks you get tremendously. Uh, ring, 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 ring. Leave your message at the sound of the tone. Beep. Hey, Doc, this is James. Sorry I missed you. Uh, so and so told me to give you a call because uh, he said you would have a definite interest in how I've helped him. So that's the why. Why did I call? Because I thought, or the person thought, that calling would have a definite interest in what you're saying or what you have to offer, whether it's information, a seminar product, uh, etc. And then this, this is the sign off. Anyway, when you call back, this is assumptive. This is not maybe. When you call, when you call, be sure to tell my secretary that I said to put you through. Or be sure that I said to come get me, to pull me, pull me from what I'm doing. You see what this says? This says that I am busy and successful. And the only way you're going to be able to get to me is by telling my secretary to come get me or to stop what I'm doing to come talk to you. So it has this back and forth thing. I'm busy and successful. You're busy and successful. You're, you're successful enough for me to stop what I'm doing to come talk to you. So, busy and successful. This is an image that's being created. So we've got a component here. Anyway, you hear that? Anyway, you hear how my voice is just like, eh. Anyway, when you call, this is like, uh, it's no biggie. In other words, I'm not all stressed out. It's not a big deal to me whether you call or not. Whether you do business with me is not going to make a bit of difference to my bottom line. I'm already busy, busy and successful. So this is a no biggie statement. statement. This is when you call, total assumptive sale. You will be calling me back. When? Be sure I said to tell my secretary that I said you can get me. So this is the, this is me being business successful. I end up with my phone number there at the end. So now you begin to see why I say in all my other videos that the blind script is so effective.